Welcome back to the channel. This week we are going to do a review of the Regal 36 XTO and I hope you like it. Come on along. Marine in Peabody, Mass, who has graciously allowed us to take a look at a number of their boats in stock, and we're going to take a look at that on this week's video. Bosun's Marine is having a boat expo February 19th through the 28th by appointment only. I'll put the link in the comments below, so make sure you check it out. This week's walkthrough is the Regal 36XO powered by twin Yamaha 425 horsepower XTOs. She's a pocket cutty that has a lot to offer. And if you want to see more walkthroughs like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know, hit the bell to know when we release new videos, and please hit the thumbs up, it really helps the channel. So now, let's get into this week's boat. The Regal 36XO is part of the new trend of outboard powered cruisers. She's a mid-sized boat that offers accommodations for up to 4 people. She's 38 feet 7 inches, on a beam of 11 feet 6, and she weighs approximately 17,000 pounds. The boat retails for $600,000 depending on how it's equipped. Notable options include the glass rear partition and a generator. Our walkthrough boat had both of these options and I have to say that the glass rear bulkhead is something I would choose. It makes the salon a enclosed space and far more functional in all types of weather. The 36XO is a stylish boat. Let's go aboard. You enter through the back transom gate into the cockpit where there is plenty of seating for up to eight adults. Walking through the sliding doors gets you into the salon. As you can see, there is seating to port and the galley to starboard. The helm is a comfortable place to drive the boat, including a flip-up bolster and twin flat screens which give the impression of the glass cockpit. She also has a joystick for precision docking control right next to her twin throttles. And there's a footrest for those of us who like to sit while we drive. Heading forward is a really unique feature of this boat in that the access up here to the lounge seats is really good. Rather than having to walk outside the cabin or up through an inconvenient center hatch, this side hatch is an excellent way to get forward. Up in the bow, there is a lift and lock latch that allows access to the anchor locker and the road below. Looking back aft, we can see the high quality of the upholstery and the fit and finish of the Regal 36 XO. Heading below into the accommodation area, we find a small countertop with the electric panel and a microwave below. All the way forward is a queen berth. Aft, there is a mid cabin which can be used either as a second little salon or when combined with a filler cushion becomes a queen size bed for additional guests. There is a TV back there and plenty of lighting so it is a good space um, to expand the accommodation area. The head is nice, it has a separate shower with a vessel sink and it has good cabinetry and good lighting with excellent space to store things. The commode itself is actually in the shower and provides a, with a seat to cover it up so it uh, doesn't get wet during showers. Back up in the salon, we can see there is a large sunroof which when open, opens up at least a third of the roof. So it lets um, sun in and wind, so it makes for that open air boating experience. 
when you want it closed up you can close the glass door and the wind blocking door and then close up that roof and the boat is completely weather tight as we head back through the cockpit and off the boat once again we see the versatility of the 36 xo So I think we're going to wrap up our video of the Regal 36 XTO behind me. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for another uh, video walkthrough of another exciting boat.